um, just a quick video to, to help with the control setups of DCS. Uh, when you get into your splash screen, just go into your options, click controls, and you'll notice you've got all of the different airframes here. Uh, just to focus on the A10C, you've got two options, uh, A10 game and sim. Now I play in the sim mode, and you'll see all of the keyboard inputs, etc, etc, your uh, Cytic, uh, rudders, the HOTAS, and then the mouse on the side. Um, this has already been configured by myself. If you just have a look at the A10 game, doing the same thing, you'll see there's a, a lot more controls, and a lot of them have dual controls assigned. You'll have a button assigned to your rudder pedals, uh, as well as your joystick and things like that. And this is what you've really got to clean up. So essentially what you've got to do is you have to um, decide what you're going to use on the joystick versus what you're going to use on the uh, rudders or mouse, etc. The mouse is also a problematic one. You'll have a lot of um, buttons that get assigned to the mouse by default. Uh, and, and these conflicts tend to wreak havoc uh, during the game. So you just need to clean that out. So just as an example, uh, let's go down here. You'll see there's a button assigned there. All you have to do is highlight it, highlight it with your mouse, and then push clear. And it's gone. And you need to just do that manually. Um, I think there is actually a clear all category. So let's just go up here. So I've highlighted Cytic Pro Light rudder pedals. There's still a button or two assigned there. Clear category. Clear category. Clear all. See, it's all gone now. Uh, just be careful when you do that. Uh, you can start really with the with the rudders and the mouse. Where you'll assign your rudders, etc., are in the access command options. So you'll go into your access commands, and there you'll see um, the rudder section. And you would need to take pitch, roll, etc. out, and you'd need to take throttle common out. So you can actually just clear those individually. One, two, three. And then if you want to actually set a assign an axis uh, or, or configure the sensitivity of it, you go to the axis assign or sorry, access tune, and there you'll see your, it's very linear at the moment, and you can actually change that to to give you a bit of a uh, a curve. Dead zones are not really that good. I use a slight one on the rudder because I rest my uh, feet on them and tend to move them uh, without uh, really wanting to, so I give it a little dead zone. And then, yeah, just uh, assign a curve to, and find, find what... Uh, uh, fits your purpose best. Uh, just to go back into the A10 sim, I'll show you what I've got there. So if I go into the access commands, uh, rudder, access tune, there's my curve on my rudder at the moment. For my sim, it's the only part of the A10 that I actually play. Uh, pitch and roll is obviously on the joy joystick side. Let's have a look at that, access tune, and then obviously those are equal between uh, pitch and roll. You'll keep those two the same. That should do it.